Are you planning a trip to the Smokies? Whether you're staying in a cabin on a mountaintop or a hotel down on the parkway, in an RV at the KOA or the family tent in Elkmont, whether you enjoy walking the busy streets of Gatlinburg or a quiet trail in Greenbrier, if your idea of fun is speeding down on a mountain coaster or a vista view from a mountain summit, then this podcast is for you. I'm Chuck Schmidt, and I'm the outsider. From moonshine to pancakes, from your wedding day to a family reunion, we're here to make your visit more enjoyable, more memorable, sharing with you more of the Smokies. So if your idea of the perfect park is Dollywood or the Great Smoky Mountains themselves, we've got a lot to talk about. So let's get started. But first things first, don't feed the bears. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 11 of An Outsider's Guide to the Smoky Mountains. My name is Chuck Schmidt, and I am The Outsider. In this episode, we're going to be talking about some of the spirits of the area. We're going to be talking about moonshine, wine, whiskey. You know, Tennessee is known the world over for their music and hospitality and, of course, their whiskey. They've been the leader in distilling spirits throughout all of our nation's history. That includes the time before, during, and after Prohibition. Their pride in craftsmanship and their spirit of independence led Tennesseans to make some of the world's finest whiskey and some of the nation's most sought-after moonshine. Today, Tennessee distillers are crafting distilled spirits as diverse as the music born in this state, from blues to bluegrass and from vodka to Tennessee whiskey. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the various distilleries in the immediate Smoky Mountains area, including Kodak, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg, and you'd be surprised just how many there are down here. Uh, One thing to note, tastings in Gatlinburg at the distilleries will now cost you $5. Back in 2016, the distilleries began charging the $5 fee for moonshine, wine, and whiskey samples that were previously free. The $5 can be earned back when customers make a purchase. If you've been in downtown Gatlinburg, you can kind of understand how different the dynamic is from Pigeon Forge and Sevierville and Kodak. When it comes to drinking after hours, Friday night, Saturday night, that kind of thing, those things can get out of hand pretty easy. So the $5 fee, again, you can earn that back with uh, any of the purchases at the distilleries. With that, let's get started. We're going to start up in Kodak. We're going to take a look at Old Tennessee Distilling Company. This was uh, previously known as Thunder Road, but they have been changing their name. They're formed on the back roads by a brotherhood of whiskey runners and outlaws, renegades and heroes. Old Tennessee Distilling Company is where history can be savored. They have a wide selection of spirits. They have 17 moonshines, four whiskeys, two vodkas, two gins, four rums, and one rye. As far as moonshine goes, they have their Tennessee Frost, that's their 100 proof whiskey. They also have some flavored moonshines, watermelon, French vanilla, strawberry, peach, lemon, apple pie, and banana shine. They also have some rather unique flavors, s'mores, pumpkin patch, roasted mango, an orange dreamsicle, and autumn maple. But if you're a whiskey connoisseur, they have their Thunder Road Corn Whiskey, their award-winning Mitchum's Thunder Road Premium Corn Whiskey, their Butcher's Bourbon Prime Cut Whiskey, and then Thunder Road Bourbon. Now their rums, they have four different, like I said, four different types of rums, everything from a white rum to barrel-aged rums to a coconut-flavored rum. And don't forget two vodkas and two gins. Plus, they just offered a whole new line of cream liqueurs, blueberry, honey peach, creme brulee, and butterscotch. Their hours are Monday through Thursday, 10 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 10 to 10, and Sunday, 12 to 7. Now, moving a little further south, there is DNS Distilling Company. This is in Sevierville. And DNS is kind of unique. They are Tennessee's first organic distillery. They believe the way ingredients are grown, harvested, and milled make all the difference in producing delicious spirits. Because of that, DNS is a certified organic, non GMO, gluten free distillery producing small batch and made from scratch spirits with a difference that you can taste. The rums, vodka, moonshine, they're a great addition to any home, bar, party, day at the lake. At their tasting room, you can buy a bottle for as low as $19.99. You can tour their distillery and enjoy craft cocktails, all while sitting next to the still that made them. They have an extensive menu of specialty cocktails, shots, martinis, all accented by a great atmosphere. DNS opened its store with three product types, rums, moonshine, and vodka, and anyone knows their distillery knows that they have two distinctly different white rums. I know it seems a little odd, but once you taste them, you're going to understand why. They make the rums from two different sugars that produce a completely different spirit. One is floral, the other one is nutty. And in addition to their rums, they made a moonshine that tastes 
just like it came out of the backwoods of yesteryear and one of the smoothest vodkas you'll ever taste. That's DNS Distilling Company, and they're in Sevierville. They're closed on Mondays, but all other days are open 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Also in Sevierville is Tennessee Legend Distillery. They're not just any other moonshine place. You can sample the best selection of whiskey, moonshine, cream liqueurs, and other spirits you can find anywhere in the Smoky Mountains. They're open seven days a week. They have two locations. One is at 870 Winfield Dunn Parkway. The other one is 2874 Newport Highway. So if you're heading out near Douglas Lake, Dandridge, that area, that, that location is probably a little more convenient. As far as moonshine and their flavors, they have apple pie, white lightning, peach, lemonade, blackberry, coffee, and a firing mango margarita. Their whiskeys, they're rather unique, coffee, salted caramel, blackberry, cinnamon, I would love to try this, a peanut butter cup whiskey, and their smooth as silk cane break bourbon. They also have vodka and rum. Their cream liqueurs, they have a peppermint mocha, a dirty cream, which is their Irish cream, creme brulee, blueberries and cream, and a banana foster. Their hours, Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sundays, are open 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And again, that's Tennessee Legend Distillery in Sevierville. Moving just a little further down the parkway, we're going to come into Pigeon Forge, and there's Tennessee Shine Company. This is formerly the Tennessee Triple X Distillery. You can kind of understand why they're changing their name there. At Tennessee Shine, they are committed to respecting the traditions of their Appalachian roots. From the first drop to the last drop, they use the same time-tested methods from days gone by, and in one taste, you're going to realize their moonshine and whiskey products are second to none. Enjoy some of Tennessee's finest, and always remember to respect the shine. As far as flavors go, for the moonshine, they have green apple, s'mores, caramel, blackberry, a blue houdini, apple pie, honey, cinnamon, coffee, chocolate mint, dream cream, grape, again an orange dreamsicle, butterscotch, and small batch corn whiskey. Now as far as their whiskeys go, they have s'mores, caramel, cinnamon, espresso, and a unflavored small batch whiskey just out as their Tennessee Triple X bourbon. They also have a seasonal moonshine, which is pumpkin spice. Now their hours are Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sundays, noon to 7 p.m. And again, that's Tennessee Shine Company in Pigeon Forge. Next up is Smith Creek Distillery. They're again in Pigeon Forge. They're in the island area. They have 12 unique moonshine flavors. And Smith Creek delivers a power pack punch of deliciousness in every jar. They have regular straight, sweet tea, peach, apple pie, strawberry shortcake, chocolate silk, coffee, orange cream, lemon lime, butter cake, salted caramel, cinnamon, and a vodka. Their hours are Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now again, staying in Pigeon Forge, the last one is the Old Forge Distillery. Distilling over 100 years of Tennessee tradition, water and grains are the essential components for making great whiskey. The founders of Old Forge settled right here for both the water source and the land to build a mill for grinding grains, laying the foundation for crafting Old Forge spirits today. Old Forge Distillery continues that heritage by stone grinding their own quality grains where they once did and combining old-fashioned methods of the settlers with modern-day know-how. In 2014, Old Forge Distillery opened its doors and its own line of moonshine distilled using fresh ground grain from the old mill. Today, Old Forge continues to add new spirits and offerings such as their award-winning rums, vodka, Tennessee Roots, Distiller Select, cream, and single-barrel aged bourbon. They have their original 1830 unaged corn moonshine. It's a stone ground premium Tennessee corn that's distilled with pure local mountain spring water to yield a slightly sweeter, smooth, well-balanced moonshine. That's 100 proof. They also have their 1830 original distiller's blend, which is a combination of corn, rye, and barley combined with pure Smoky Mountain spring water that yields a complex, bold moonshine. Again, 100 proof. And finally, they have their 1830 Original Miller's Blend, which is a combination of corn, wheat, and barley, combined with Smoky Mountain Spring Water, that yields a complex, mellow-tasting moonshine. Once again, 100 proof. Now, if you're into the flavors, they have that also. They have a chocolate, a French toast, which is a sweet and spicy combination of cinnamon and maple flavors. They have a coffee, blackberry, lemon, apple pie, peach, cinnamon, vanilla bean. They have bananas foster and oatmeal cookie. And for seasonal flavors, they have a kettle corn and a pumpkin roll. 
One thing they have a wide selection of here at the Old Forge Distillery is cherries. They have chocolate and cherries, pineapple upside down cherries, cinnamon bomb cherries, moonshine and cherries, and handmade cola and cherries. Those sound delicious. The hours at the Old Forge Distillery are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sundays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, moving into Gatlinburg, there's Doc Collier's Moonshine. Like Doc Collier used to say, simple is best. And his recipe for good shine proves that he was a man of his word. Corn, sugar, and good mountain spring water. In fact, to make their smooth spirits, they use fresh English mountain spring water. Through a partnership with their friends down the road, they deliver 300 to 600 gallons at a time directly to their distillery for their use in fermentation and blending. When you visit the distillery, be sure to buy a bottle of their water to taste what real crisp spring water is supposed to be like. As far as their moonshines, they have their 125, which is their straight off the still, high proof moonshine product, no filtering, no gimmicks, just 100% high proof moonshine. They have unaged corn whiskey, referred to as corn liquor or white lightning. They have their original recipe. That's the original Doc Collier's family recipe. Might taste like something you would get out of the trunk of a car down here in the Smokies. They have shine cherries. Their fruit is imported from the cherry capital of the world, Traverse City, Michigan, and it is soaked in moonshine for taste. As far as flavored moonshine goes, they have peach, blackberry, greenbrier apple, root beer float. They have a Smoky Mountain Sunrise, which is pineapple, orange, and cranberry that comes together in sheer perfection. One sip and you're going to have the sun on the front of the beach in your mind. As far as limited run flavors, they have Nanner, which tastes just like your grandmother's homemade banana pudding. They have apple pie, which is a nice blend of apples and house blended spices. Tastes like a dessert of grandma's. You can even taste the crust. And they have white oak, which is a bold oak flavor with a slight hint of vanilla at the end. Doc Collier's hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, noon to 7 p.m. Next up is Sugarlands. Sugarlands is in Gatlinburg, and although the recipes and the craft of making moonshine are ages old, the Sugarlands Still House at Sugarlands Distilling Company features custom-designed distilling equipment that produces a superior moonshine. With one foot firmly planted in the past and the other one in these modern times, the Still House is where their delicious Sugarlands shine is made. From the backwoods to the television screen, Sugarlands Distilling is a proud partner with Discovery Channel's Moonshiners Legends to bring their traditional recipes to you. Now these include, as far as moonshine goes, four different 100 proof moonshines. They have Cole Swindell's Peppermint Moonshine, Jim Tom Hedrick's Unaged Dry, Silver Cloud Tennessee Sour Mash Moonshine, Talladega 50th Anniversary Corn Whiskey, as far as the flavored moonshine goes, they have Mark and Digger's Rye Apple, Blueberry Muffin, Maple Bacon, Mark Rogers American Peach, Peanut Butter and Jelly, Pina Colada, Root Beer, Cole Swindell's Pre-Show Punch, Patty's Wild Mayhaw, Black Gator's Blackberry, Butterscotch Gold, an Old Fashioned Lemonade, Southern Sweet Tea, and an Appalachian Apple Pie Moonshine. I can tell you, I'm a fan of a lot of these flavors, and when you put that old-fashioned lemonade together with that southern sweet tea, you will get an Arnold Palmer that'll knock your socks off. And the Appalachian Apple Pie Moonshine, when you taste that moonshine, the finish on it as you breathe in and out, you can actually taste the caramel. It's absolutely outstanding. As far as cream moonshines go... Uh, dark Chocolate Coffee Appalachian Sipping Cream, my personal favorite, the Butter Pecan Appalachian Sipping Cream. They have an Electric Orange Sipping Cream, Strawberry Dream Sipping Cream, Eggnog Sipping Cream, which is seasonal. And they have a Pumpkin Spice Latte Sipping Cream, which is seasonal. As far as rum goes, they have Mark and Digger's Hazelnut Rum. Hours of operation at Sugarlands is Monday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. You know, one thing I want to talk about when you get into a lot of these tastings is the actual pours of the drinks themselves. And they're one part pourer, and if you get a good one, they're one part entertainer. You can really have a good time for the $5 you pay for the, uh, in Gatlinburg at least, the $5 that you pay for the tasting. But a lot of these guys, they are really funny. I, I compliment them on their preparation and their craft as far as entertaining the people for the half hour or however long it takes to actually do the tastings. Hats off, I'm going to give a shout out to my friend BP over at, and yes, it's BP like the gas station over at Sugarlands. If you have a time to sit in on one of his 
uh, one of his pouring shows. He does an outstanding job, really entertaining guy. Good time to be had over at Sugarlands. Now, finally, with locations both in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, is Old Smoky Distillery. Old Smoky's roots can be traced back over 100 years to the earliest settlers in the Smoky Mountains. It's moonshine made with authenticity and an enduring pride of the people in the Tennessee Mountains. In 2009, Tennessee law changed, and it was legal to make, distill, and sell the infamous bootleggers hooch. It was at that point that a group of families decided to bring their artistry of superior moonshine making to the world at large. On July 6, 2010, it was the grand opening of Old Smoky's original moonshine distillery, The Holler in Gatlinburg. Old Smoky became Tennessee's first legal moonshine distillery, as well as the most visited distillery in the world with over 2.5 million visitors a year. As far as their moonshine goes, their 100 proof plus moonshine includes white lightning, moonshine cherries, and blue flame, and original. As far as 60 proof goes, they have apple pie, hunch punch lightning, honey chard, and moonshine peaches. 40 proof, they have moonshine pickles. Yes, moonshine pickles. Those are really delicious. Uh, Blackberry, apple pie, Blackberry Lemonade, Mountain Berry, Passion Fruit, raspberry, Red Grapefruit, Sour Apple, and Margarita. As far as their 35 proof goes, they have Butter Pecan, Sun Beach, and Mountain Java. As far as whiskeys go, they have a Salty Caramel, Mango Habanero, Salty Watermelon, Straight Whiskey. They have a Pecan, Cinnamon, a Blended, a Root Beer, Blackberry, Peach, Carrot Cake, Caramel Apple, a Cookie Dough, and a Blueberry. Now, as far as whiskey, 35 to 60 proof, they have Tennessee Mud, Tennessee Turtle, Cookies and Creams, Bourbon Ball, and an Amaretto. Now, they have three locations. In Gatlinburg, they have the Holler, which is America's most visited distillery, and it produces all of their signature moonshine flavors. In Gatlinburg, they also have the Barrel House, and the Barrel House is currently offering all the tastings of their whiskey over there. And in Pigeon Forge, they have the barn, otherwise known as the Moonshine Barn, and it is the Outpost, which is located in the island in Pigeon Forge. Hours of operation for all three locations is Monday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. One of the other great things that you get about Old Smoky is uh, the music. They have live music that plays both at the holler and at the barn over in the island. And just outstanding country music, bluegrass music, blues, Wonderful artists out there playing music at, at these two locations. I highly recommend kicking back, sitting in the rocking chairs, and just taking in the uh, taking in the music at the Old Smoky Distilleries. Now, if I counted right, that was nine different distilleries featuring moonshine and whiskey. But we also have a wide selection of wines down here also in the Smoky Mountain area. And one thing I want to point out is the Rocky Top Wine Trail. And the Rocky Top Wine Trail consists of five award-winning wineries who make their home in the Great Smoky Mountains. They offer over 70 unique varieties of wine to sample for free. Each location is open seven days a week. They're closed only on Christmas Day. And visitors can pick up a Rocky Top Wine Trail passport at their first stop and have their passport stamped as they travel on the trail. If you visit three locations, you'll receive a free logo wine glass after those visits, and then an additional gift if you complete the wine trail and visit all five locations. Free wine tastings are offered at every location, and free tours of the winemaking areas are given from 12 to 5 p.m. at Mountain Valley Winery, Sugarland Cellars, and Hillside Winery. All five locations are open seven days a week, so come on in, purchase a sample. Each location offers entirely different varieties of locally produced wines. So first up on the wine trail is going to be the Apple Barn Winery. This is up in Sevierville. The Apple Barn Winery offers a unique twist on wine. The wines are handcrafted on site from the very same succulent apples you see growing outside the door. The winery is open seven days a week for tasting and sales. It is located on the banks of the Little Pigeon River in the Apple Barn Village. The Apple Barn Winery is surrounded by the world's famous Apple Barn General Store, the Cider Mill, two great restaurants, a bakery, a candy store, an ice cream shop, and a Christmas shop. And as far as wine and food goes, if you're anything like us, you'll be anxious to open that bottle of wine that you just purchased at the winery and enjoy a glass. Well, you're in luck. While you're at the Apple Barn Complex, you can be sure to dine at the Apple Barn Farmhouse Restaurant or at the Applewood Grill located right next door. Not only will you feast on delicious southern cuisine, but you can also enjoy the Apple Barn winery purchases with your meal for no corkage fee. 
They have eight different wines to choose from. Their hours are Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's the Apple Barn Winery in Sevierville. The Mountain Valley Winery is one of the largest wineries in the state and has produced well over 500 award-winning wines since their doors opened. Focusing their efforts on making some of the best sweet fruit wines anywhere in the United States, they also make many traditional German and French style wines. Their large wine cellar is open to the public, and they have guided tours available every day of the week, and one can also get useful information about the Great Smoky Mountains area there also. Hours of operations are Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. The Mill Bridge Winery, again, is in Pigeon Forge. It is perched on the banks of the Little Pigeon River. Mill Bridge Winery is the newest addition to the historic district of Pigeon Forge. One of the most unique features of the winery is the patio overlooking the river. It's the ideal location to sit and enjoy the views of the river and the Great Smoky Mountains, also while enjoying a chill glass of wine or hard cider. They have 10 different wines, dry, semi-sweet and sweet, and four different hard ciders. The winery hours are Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And again, that's the Mill Bridge Winery in Pigeon Forge. Now, the Hillside Winery, that's up in Sevierville, and it's a must-do adventure when looking for things to do in Sevierville because they specialize in Italian-style bubbly wines. Now, being that they are the largest grape-crushing facility in the region, they decided to explore carbonated wines. Carbonated wines are similar to champagne in appearance. They make their bubbly wines by infusing carbon dioxide directly into the finished wine. And as the CO2 dissolves, it makes the tiny bubbles that give their bubbly wine the champagne-like appearance. The final product is a light, effervescent treat that they are sure you are going to absolutely love drinking. So while here, don't forget to go on the winery tour. They give educational and family-friendly daily tours where you can learn about the winemaking process from their knowledgeable tour guides. They also offer limited tasting seven days a week. Their hours of operations are Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And again, that's the Hillside Winery in Sevierville. Moving into Gatlinburg, there are Sugarland Cellars. They're a fully operating winery located in Gatlinburg. Sugarland Cellars offers tours and complimentary limited wine tastings seven days a week, and their gift shop is a great experience filled with plenty of wine-related gifts and Smoky Mountains memories. The Rich Mountain History is showcased on their labels and explained by their tour guides. They are located at the Gatlinburg entrance to the Great Smoky Mountains at traffic light number 10, right next to Knock. Sugarlands is a combination of winemaking and storytelling, where you can enjoy thoughtfully selected wines that are crafted on site. And at Sugarland Cellars, they try to keep the forgotten stories of the Smokies alive through their passion for winemaking and by using the wine labels as storytelling tools. When you come by at Sugarlands, take a moment to sit a spell, drink in the stories that are contained within the walls, and you're going to be glad that you did. Their hours are Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Again, staying in Gatlinburg, there's the Gatlinburg Wine Cellar, The Gatlinburg Wine Cellar opened its doors in 2017. They offer free tastings of their locally made wines. They feature a 2018 Midnight Blackberry and Blueberry, a 2018 Billy's Best Apple Wine, a 2018 Bear's Head Niagara, 2018 Parkway Reserve Raspberry, and a 2018 High and Dry, and also, rather unique, 2018 Cotton Candy. Gatlinburg Wine Cellar offers a wine club. You can receive quarterly shipments straight to your door, and the wine club members receive special offers and a 10% discount on all wine purchases. Hours are they're open daily from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Next up is Tennessee Homemade Wines. They are proud of their small town and proud of their homemade wines. They sit right at the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains and were raised in the Appalachian traditions of hospitality and heritage. Their wines are made with local fruit and crafted by local folk and served by local friends. So stop in for free tastings. They're open seven days a week. They feature a 2018 Blueberry Cider, a 2018 Apple Cider, a 2018 Blackberry Molasses Cider, 2019 Jalapeno Apple, and a 2018 Old Apple Recipe. They again have a wine club. They have bronze, silver, gold, and platinum levels that are available. And their hours are Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Sundays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Next up is the Smoky Mountains Winery, again in Gatlinburg, and it is one of the oldest wineries in East Tennessee. 
Mention fine wines to anyone who has ever traveled to the Great Smoky Mountains, and they will tell you about the Smoky Mountain Winery. Since opening their doors, they have produced wines that have received hundreds of regional, national, and international awards. Their dedication to making great wine and customer satisfaction has been and continues to be the driving force behind their efforts at the Smoky Mountain Winery. You can enjoy a free taste from selections of over 20 award-winning wines available in their tasting room. And they also have the Winery Gift Shop, offering unique and interesting shopping experiences. So come on in and join them for a grape taste. Open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's the Smoky Mountains Winery. Next up is Goodwater Vineyards. It's a unique winery experience that awaits you. This is one of the few wineries in Tennessee with large-scale vineyards right outside their back door. All of their wines are produced from grapes grown at Goodwater Vineyards. The family has direct control over the quality of the wine from vine to wine. Goodwater Winery in Gatlinburg offers over eight wines from dry, semi-sweet, or sweet. You can come try their estate-grown wines, enjoy a glass of wine or a wine frappe in their new tasting room in the heart of the Smoky Mountains. They're open daily from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's Goodwater Vineyards in Gatlinburg. Finally, there's Bootlegger's Homemade Wine in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Bootlegger's Homemade Wine began with two country winemakers who just happened to be sisters. They decide to create the finest homegrown Appalachian wines. They start from scratch using the best fruit and the same small batch recipes folks in these parts perfected long ago. There are no machines or fancy equipment, just the stuff you would find in kitchens throughout the South. They even bottle each batch by hand. As they say, it ain't California, it ain't France, it's just great homemade wine. And when you pop open a bottle, you're surely going to know it came from the mountains. They have nine different wines to suit your palate, and they have two locations, one in Gatlinburg right on the parkway, and one in Pigeon Forge up in the island. Their hours are Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. So there you have it. I think we had nine distilleries featuring moonshine and whiskey and we had 10 wineries uh, for you to choose from so quite a selection if you if you enjoy spirits down here in the smoky mountains plenty of places for you to go and have a glass of wine or have some moonshine or whiskey once again i hope you found this information helpful if you did if you could help us by please rating us on apple podcast if you're feeling very generous we could really appreciate it if you could write us a review because that helps others find the podcast a little easier Other than that, I want to thank you for listening. I really do appreciate each and every one of our listeners. And remember, as I close every broadcast, a fed bear is a dead bear. Please don't feed the bears. Thanks for listening. An Outsider's Guide to the Smoky Mountains was brought to you by Dancing Barefoot Cabin. If you're looking for a log cabin lodging experience beyond the ordinary, then Dancing Barefoot Cabin is for you. Conveniently located in between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Explore the possibilities at dancingbarefoot.com. That's dancingbarefoot, B-E-A-R-F-O-O-T dot com. Pizza Bear Illustration by Kenton Visser. Music by Jay Denton.